Tell me we're all right and tell me we're okay. It's a hard thing to do sometimes though, right party people? If only we could just be a little closer with each other and be able to tell each other things like that. What's going on guys? Andrew here with yet again another natural reaction. How the hell's it going party people? If you're new here, please do me a favor and go down there and hit that subscribe button. You know why? Because I've got daily content for you, all sorts of videos and pretty much looking at things that you recommend. I'm also on Instagram at The Real Natural Reaction if you're into that sort of thing. Anyway, looks like it's a good time to be getting into 21 Pilots. I appreciate all the comments out there. They seem like they got a lot of fans and apparently they just dropped a new track so that's exciting. Uh, looks like this one's called Level of Concern, and I'm pretty stoked being a brand new fan slash just new to 21 Pilots in general. I'm excited about it. Apparently, other folks out there are a bunch of fans too, um, and they're excited about it. People like Shane JKE um, told me a little bit about the lyrics and stuff down in the comments. Um, sorry if I uh, pronounce these names incorrectly. I suck at that kind of thing. Uh, Sharud the Slime God, ooh, cool name. <laughs> Sharud the Slime God said it's hard to say what genre they are because they dabble in a little bit of everything. Um, also, this uh, this Ode to Sleep song sounds like it's pretty popular, so it sounds like I'm gonna have to get into that one real soon. Pretty much, almost almost everybody that commented about the 21 Pilots, the or just 21 Pilots uh, mentioned uh, the Ode to Sleep song. Um, Alex down in the comments. Igor R talked about 21 Pilots, Panda Bear, Amber Ripley, Megan Shoemake, Katie Mitchell, Teen Sess, uh, Luis Enrique Salvador Vargas. Nice. A um, bunch of these people, a um, bunch of these people down here messing with 21 Pilots. That's exciting. What do you crazy cats call yourself? Is there a name that 21 Pilots fans call themselves? Are you guys like the, I don't know, kamikaze? pilots or something like that I don't know I am starting to get that little that acronym uh, at first when people started uh, typing down there top I'm like what is top is this like another band what the heck is top and I'm like oh the 21 pilots I get it and a lot of people have the, the slash in the middle I get it um, Sophie Dunn mentioned 21 pilots Lance Barrett mentioned 21 pilots WW3 mentioned 21 pilots Chris Weaver multi Lang Dan MK2, Adrian Gonzalez, Klein, Sarah B, Frederike Jansen, Flute Loops, nice, I like these names. Um, anyway, a bunch of people down there, I apologize if I missed you, I'll get you next time. Or maybe I just didn't like you very much, did you ever think of that? I'm just kidding, I, I like you, I like you guys. Um, but anyways, yeah, so also... Two special shout outs uh, to Claudia, who told me, I think it was yesterday, that says, hey, you should react to 21 Pilots' new single, Level of Concern. They, uh, Level of Concern. They literally just posted it, and I think you'll like it. Claudia, I'm about to listen to it, and I better like it. Uh, what else? Ooh, and Flute Loops. This one's from Flute Loops. Um, he was just saying, uh, Tyler Joseph, the singer, which apparently his name's Tyler Joseph, good to know, um, recently said they're putting out a new song soon and it will be the first uh, one he's written on electric guitar. Is this true? I don't know, let me know. Um, when it comes out, you should react to it, smiley face. Well, hey, Flute Loops, here I am about to react to it. I appreciate you guys down there. You guys are awesome. Welcome to the channel, I'm Andrew. This is 21 Pilots, Level of Concern. Looks like it's number one on trending. That's exciting. Uh, about almost four million views already. So I guess a couple cats are listening. Level of Concern, 21 Pilots. Before it even gets into it, I always gotta, I always gotta stop it one more time and say, say something else. You guys ever notice that? I always gotta, I always gotta stop it. Um, I did want to say uh, that last one, Car Radio. I've been listening to it a couple times, and I feel like I didn't really get into the lyrics or something that much uh, before. But I really love that song, and I feel like this cat is probably gonna be a dope lyricist slash maybe a little bit of a wordsmith and stuff like that, which I was not expecting. Like I said, I had. 
some kind of predetermined thoughts about what I thought they sounded like, but those are going in the trash can today because I was, I was also scrolling on somebody's Instagram the other day um, and I heard a song that sounded like old school, like it sounded like punk rock or like the Beatles or something like that. It was kind of, it was kind of crazy. So I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm throwing that out the window and I'm just, I'm just here for 21 pilots, whatever, whatever they're sounding like, right? You gotta hear ads. What's up with the video? It looks like old school. It's like a dance. Oh, sick. First of all, it's like a little bit of a dancey beat, but I get it. He's like filming himself and stuff. Does this have to do with uh, like the, the shutdown and everything? Or is he talking about like social media and stuff? I don't know, but I dig the video so far. It looks like it's like low quality for some reason, I guess, on purpose. Um, I don't know. Hey, why aren't, we on, why aren't we on 1080 HD anyway? Duh. <laughs> um, I was going to look for subtitles on this. There's the, that's the drummer, right? What's his name? I forget. Um, so let me go back about 10 seconds here with the J key. If you're unfamiliar with those keyboard shortcuts, subscribe for those keyboard shortcuts. Um, so it is, he is sound, sounds like he's talking about quarantine. He's kind of talking to the camera through the computers and stuff, kind of how we are these days, um, which is crazy, you know? Or is this the way it ends? Yes, I told you my level of concern. This one's more. You walk by like you never heard. You Upbeat. could bring down my level of concern. Just need you to tell me what all right. Tell me what okay. Panic on the brain. Michael's gone insane. Julie starts to make me nervous. This is pretty cool. It's a little bit of a dance beat. I kind of like how they blend, um, you know, like new school sounds and kind of like the poppiness of like electronic music uh, with like real band instruments and stuff like that, right? It's kind of like a nice blend because I'm not like 100% into like the the poppy new school stuff, but they I think they do a nice blend and make it uh, make it kind of acceptable for for a cat like me or something, you know? But again, Sorry, but again, it's like way different than the first one that I heard. I have a feeling a lot of their songs are just going to be different and they got their own thing going on. And I like it. They're just filming each other or themselves. themselves. Nice. I like that. I like that chorus. Would you be my little quarantine? It's definitely catchy. This is definitely more of a like a catchy pop song, right? This is not like uh, like not really deep with the lyrics like the last one was. I feel. Definitely catch you though. I can't even help it. It is kind of funny though. I was expecting uh, there to be like more electric guitar in it because that person told me that they wrote uh, they wrote on electric guitar. He's definitely playing the guitar, but I don't I don't hear it much in the mix. I'm gonna be honest. This is more of a like a pop song, but it's definitely catchy. It's fun. I'm excited about it. Definitely gonna get into more of these cats. From these cats. I told you, told you the level of concern. Oh man, that's like uh, our concerns falling on deaf ears or something, right? I, uh, I feel that. I feel like that's maybe what he's trying to talk about. Um, 
you know, you let people know things that you need or things that are urgent or whatever, and maybe people don't listen all the time or whatever. Maybe it takes something crazy like a quarantine for people to listen up or something. I don't know. I'm just talking. I'm just spitballing. Let me know what you think down there. This, is this that cat's, uh, is that like his actual baby and wife or something? That'd be pretty cool. You guys know about that? Um, that'd be awesome. Everybody's all quarantined up. I like this Tyler guy, by the way. It's funny that he's he's kind of like being a little bit silly, I feel like, but he he's not even smiling. He's kind of like dead serious the whole time, even though like I would be like, you know, the other guy seems to be a little bit more jokey, but his, he's got like a dead serious face, but he's still kind of like, like dancing and being a little bit silly. I like that. I like this guy. He's seems like he's like a, a deep fellow. All you gotta do to bring down my level of concern is tell me we're all right and tell me we're okay. It's a hard thing to do sometimes though, right party people? If only we could just be a little closer with each other and be able to tell each other things like that, right? <laughs> what do you say, you, okay. you bitches lied to me? What do you say? Bitches lying. You're gonna be okay. Man, I like that. I just got the I just got the chills a little when he said we're gonna be okay. Like, I don't know. That's awesome. Now that I think about it, I remember somebody down in the comments telling me about how they make it make their shows feel like a really like comfortable, safe place, like everybody belongs and is welcome and stuff. The way and the word the way that he just said that, like I don't know. It just seemed really sincere, and wow, I just got the chills. It's I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, that was that made me feel good or something like that. It was like I'm not alone or something for a second, right? Do you guys feel like that when this cat talks? I'm definitely gonna get into this guy. I don't know why I keep saying this guy like he's one dude. There's the drummer fellow too, and I'm sure he's highly involved with stuff, right? It's gonna be okay, guys. Awesome, and they just go out and they're just like, sup, sup, dude. Um, that's pretty funny. I wonder if they actually lived next door to each other. That would be awesome if the, that was their actual house, but I'm sure it's not, but that would be cool. Um, was that uh, his real like, wife and kid, though? I don't know. Let me know. Also, they sort of look uh, pretty similar. Are they brothers by any chance uh, or just friends? I don't know. They, they look pretty similar if you ask me. Let me know what the drummer's name is too. We got, I got Tyler down now. I'll learn the other cat's name. I'm going to be a top fan. T-O-P, 21 Pilots fan. These cats are awesome. I'm thinking this one's more of just like a, a dancey feel-good vibe slash just letting us know that it's all going to be okay. And, uh, you know, you're going to be okay. We're all going to be okay, party people. And on that note, I really appreciate you stopping by. If you enjoy my content, please hit that subscribe button. It's the way you can directly support my channel. Let me know what else you want me to check out because that's pretty much what I do. I listen to you guys. We have conversations and talk. And hey, I'll catch you on the next Natural Reaction.